Berlin. One of the many reasons for why I love this city so much is the vegan food scene. Yeah, when it comes to that, we're absolutely spoiled. But it's like, who's gonna say what? It's Berlin. All right, so welcome to part three of my little Berlin food guide series that I'm now continuing after almost two years. So if there's a cool food spot that I've missed, then it is very likely that it's in one of those two videos. Links will be in the description. But also tell me in the comments, what's your favorite restaurant or cafe here? And what do you typically like to order there? All right, let's start this off with some cute cafes. I think I recently fell in love with this vegan place called Pele Mele. Pretty sure I butchered that name again. But it's this beautiful, bright yet cozy space in Neukölln perfect for breakfast, lunch, or some some coffee and cake. If you're feeling like a lot of coffee, ask for coffee in a bowl. That's a thing you can get there. I'd very much recommend getting any of the cakes. I haven't tried them all yet, but the ones I've had so far were really nice. Like this gluten-free brownie with caramelized cashews. They do sweet and savory breakfast. Also, they do this thing where you can build your own tofu bagel. So you choose a spread, a type of flavored tofu, and then some sort of additional veggies. They're a little hard to eat with your hands, but definitely very satisfying. Greenfinch in Prenzlauer Berg is absolutely wonderful. It has a very fun, kind, open vibe, and the people who work there seem so lovely. And also their food is incredible. I was surprised by how good it was. I mean, look at these pancakes. They're almost like these Japanese souffle type pancakes. So yeah, I would absolutely recommend. And oh my God, this vegan grilled cheese type sandwich. Both this berry acai bowl and the iced matcha berry drink are sort of like secret menu items. So you'd have to ask them and see if they can make that for you. If you're looking for something sweet in particular, I would definitely recommend you check out Calm Coffee. They're known for their buns, fancy looking drinks, and only being open on the weekend. No, actually, they just started opening on Fridays as well. Their interior design reminds me so much of cafes in Australia and Los Angeles. It has a very trendy sort of vibe to it. Oh my god, guys, the salted caramel ice latte is insanely delicious. Um, you can get it with coffee or without. I, I would absolutely recommend you try that. All the drinks they have can be made vegan, and they just have some of the most creative flavor combos, like orange infused cold brew. Of course, the rolls are amazing amazing as well. I like the simple cinnamon one the most, I think. Um, and then my second favorite has to be the strawberry one. Also, random but very cute is their idea to sell dried flowers. It's adorable. Next up, we have Hafakata, which is this little porridge cafe franchise. They've got a few stores all over Germany, mostly found at big train stations, but I'm talking about their location in Prenzlauerberg. Food-wise, they're known for, of course, their, their porridge. It is seriously amazing and quite different from the one you'd make at home because the oats they're using, they're, they're almost like rice, like rice flakes in a way. I don't know. My all-time favorite one to get has to be the Weidbeerkata, which comes with coconut, berries, and just so much chocolate. Not everything's vegan, but you have plenty of choice as a vegan there. They also have cake or bowls, um, energy bites, wraps, and I love their coffee and matcha as well. If you need a place to take your skeptical in regards to veganism friends and family to, then First Us has got you covered. The types of foods they do, I've not seen in Berlin be made vegan before. It's quite traditional, slightly more fancy restaurant food. Meals that you wouldn't necessarily immediately associate with veganism, like these deep fried melted cheese bites with cranberry jam, steak with herbed butter. Okay, I'm not sure if schnitzel is the most fancy of meals out there, but this pasta definitely was. I was so happy. Dessert-wise, you should definitely not miss out on the tiramisu. Plus, people have told me to try their cakes as well. Um, during the day, they should have different cakes. I haven't gotten around to trying those yet. They always rotate between different meals. Um, they also kind of look at what's in season right now, so they might not have the exact same things when you go there. 
All right, moving on to Han West. This might be my new favorite place to get takeout from. So basically, they do dumplings, fries, and bao burgers. They've got options for everybody. So if you're with like a, a big group of people and everyone has different preferences, this is definitely the place to go to. So here, me and my friend Ima got the, the vegan box and then one extra set of dumplings with spicy Korean barbecue sauce. That sauce was indeed very spicy, um, but very good. Also, these loaded fries with peanut sauce and aioli. Amazing. Chef's kiss. What else can I say? Oh yeah, and here we also have the shiitake bao bun, which I definitely prefer over the um, the tofu one. Han West is located in Neukölln, um, right next to Tempelhofer Feld, this old airport runway field turned park. So you could also take your food there. They sometimes have sheep and, and cows over there. I, I never know where they come from. This has to be the place I eat the most at, holy flat. They do bowls and flatbread sandwiches and then also some other stuff, but the, the bowls are the most important to me. Everything's vegan or vegetarian and the vegetarian meals can all easily be made plant-based, you know, by swapping out certain ingredients. Like for instance, this bibim bowl comes with a poached egg, which I would swap out for avocado. Oh my god, the holy bowl with delicious grilled pumpkin and just the most amazing hummus and quinoa tabbouleh. The wraps aren't bad either, they're actually really really nice, um, but I always just tend to go for the bowls. And then one more takeout type food place that I like to go to quite often is Chickhaftem. Um, they have stores everywhere in Germany, I think. It's actually almost fully plant-based. Yeah, what I normally get here is the classic vegan wrap without mint. Um, and just bisschen scharf, just a little spicy. The vegan platter they have is also super delicious. Comes with bulgur bites and rice filled wine leaves. If you have some recommendations for more local Turkish restaurants, um, please leave that down below in the comments. Is it too late in the year to recommend an ice cream place? No, right? It would just feel wrong not to include these guys. Tribeca has the best vegan ice cream I've ever had in Berlin. Maybe the best vegan ice cream I've ever had, period. They always rotate between different flavors. Cherry chocolate cookie and hazelnut baobab, this was, I think. It's all plant-based, made with all natural and mostly organic ingredients. My neighbor upstairs is aggressively vacuuming right now, so sorry if you can hear them. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, the Tribeca ice cream doesn't taste quote-unquote healthy or vegan at all. Um, it's all soy-free also, and you have the option to pick a gluten-free cone as well, um, which is really cool. Two streets over, there's Feel So Good, an amazing fully vegan Korean restaurant. I always come here for bibimbap. So these delicious rice bowls filled with kimchi and veggies, spicy sauce. We also tried the topoki rice cakes here. Mm. Mm. Different from how it was in Korea. This reminds me more, more of like sweet and sour sauce texture. Mm. Really yeah. And less spicy. This is very this is slippery. Mm. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this giant crispy pancake has to be my new favorite thing. It is so, so good. Reminds me a lot of the okonomiyaki thing that I made a couple months ago. Um, but yeah, highly recommend getting that. I didn't notice until Jade pointed it out to me, but there's some Korean pop culture references hidden in the menu. Definitely make sure you leave some room for dessert. Oh, it looks like a red bean. Ooh. I hope it's I don't think I've ever had red bean <gasps> Glutinous rice cake surrounding it. It's just me against the rice. <laughs> There's so many good places for vegan Vietnamese food in Berlin. Even Feel So Good has like a random Vietnamese menu. Anyway, mom's creation though. It's really yummy food. Here we got the the wonton soup, which comes with this pho type broth. I got the, the vegan duck with mango sauce. There's also a bunch of yummy desserts to choose from.
If you're in the mood for some hummus and bread, definitely check out Hummus and Friends in Mitte. It's a vegetarian place with so many vegan options. So you choose a certain type of hummus. I think my favorite one was the one topped with chickpeas I had a while ago. Maybe also order some roasted cauliflower, um, some grilled aubergine, and then of course some warm pita bread. This was some garlic and date dipping sauce. Tastes a lot better than it sounds. They also have a chocolate hummus on their menu that I have yet to try. Uh, yeah, but that's it for hummus and friends. Quite a few people told me to go to Tiger Club Vegan Sushi. Uh, finally, a place in West Berlin. Here I'm just waiting for Artemis. It was pretty cold. They indeed have some really delicious and interesting plant-based sushi. Um, a favorite role was by far the Cub Cobain. I also really like the ones filled with arugula and vegan cream cheese. Yeah, they, they work with a lot of like cheese replacement, fake meats. There's a lot of seitan in many of these. The only small negative was that we did have to wait for our food a pretty long time. I mean, I've only ever been there once, so I don't know if this was maybe just a one-time thing, um, but that be prepared that that might happen. Just go ahead and order some nice cozy drinks in the meantime, that's what we did. It's, it's slow food, I guess. And that, people, concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, whether you're planning a trip to Berlin sometime soon or um, you're from here, then, you know, support your local businesses and all that. And yeah, thank you so much for being here. Until next time, bye!